Hey guys, I'm back again. I'm gonna tell you, life doesn't owe you anything. If you're just sitting on the couch, you're playing on the computer, you're eating Cheetos all day, and you're just stroking your wiener back and forth, and you just complain, and you just say, I want this, I want that. I'll tell you this, life doesn't owe you anything. You know why? Because you gotta work. You gotta work five fucking jobs. Look at me, I'm a construction worker. I'm a car mechanic, door dash driver, only fans content creator. And I'm gonna be an oil rig next week, cause I got hired. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give you another video on how to pass an interview next week. So stay tuned, but back to the topic though. Life doesn't owe you anything. If you wanna have a mansion, you wanna have a Lamborghini, listen to me because I know everything and I know how to get that. First of all, you need to work. Go on Indeed, go on Monster Jobs, go on LinkedIn. Apply, apply, apply. And you just pick any job. It doesn't matter what the pay is. Just pick it and work. Bend over for the boss like I do. Make sure you communicate with your coworkers and you say, Hi, my name is this guy. And then you say goodbye when you leave. That's when you know you're a good worker when you communicate. So don't be shy. Stick your chest out. Deep voice. Make sure you have eye contact with these co-workers and your boss. Because that is going to help you succeed. And listen to guys like Andrew Tate, Jordan Peterson, David Goggins. All the Red Pillars, YouTubers. All the Blue Pillars. Because that's how you're going to succeed. And thing is, you guys gotta have kids. If you don't have kids, you guys don't have a purpose in life. I have a purpose. I have another kid on the way. That would be my fifth child, because I have four right now. I'm a good dad. I change your diapers every day. I, uh, take them to basketball practice. I take them to softball. I take them to, uh, arcades. I'm a good father. I get involved with my kids. And I get a, I, I do well with my finances because I'm a hard worker. I work 100 hours a week every fucking week. And that's why I have a Lamborghini. That's why I have that hot wife. That's why I cheat on my wife sometimes, get with the boss just to, so I can get a raise. Even if it's a man because I like supervisors. thing is, life doesn't care about you. You need to work. You need to work for it. Stop complaining. It doesn't owe you anything. You are born and you chose to be born. You finished out of billions of sperm. And you better be grateful that you're here. Be grateful that your parents helped you out. They... They taught you how to walk. They taught you how to talk. They taught you how to do things in life. Listen to me because I'm an expert. I'm a dad. I'm something special. Other men that aren't dads, they're not special. They're lazy. They are entitled. They're selfish because they should have a kid. Because kids need to improve this society. Kids need to... Bring in more men. And more women need to be more women. So. Life doesn't owe you anything. You gotta go out there and get it. Work hard. That's how I do it.
because if you guys are not having kids, you ain't... How are we supposed to build a society, like I said in my last video? How are we supposed to uh, take care of uh, other children and give them baby formula and, and make sure they get jobs? Because without children, we will not have a population. That's fucked up. And that's bullshit. It doesn't owe you anything. This fucking life. These people worked hard. They died here. Look at that. They worked hard and they... They died in peace. When you don't work hard, you won't die in peace. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you this. I used to be been one of you guys. I was like a doober. I was an anti-natalist, child-free. and I'll tell you this. I turned around. I was like Jordan Peterson. and I was like David Goggins with the motivation. And you guess what? I got five jobs, I got the beautiful wife and children, and I know I'm gonna die in peace. I ain't worried about being in pain because I have pain every day on my lower back. I have pain on my head, but I am strong. I am I know that saying, suffering makes you stronger. I know I'm stronger than all the exposure I'm getting. So that's what you guys have to have, that mindset. Something positive, something optimistic. This ain't toxic positivity. I'm telling you how it is. I'm a hard worker. The more you work hard, you get what you want. That's how it goes. If you don't work hard, then you won't get anything. Life doesn't owe you anything. Stop acting entitled. Stop acting like babies out there that need a pacifier in their mouth. But if you want to be positive like me, you just need to do what I say. Go get five jobs. Get that wife. Once you have that resume of those jobs, then have ten children. Be a dad. And then tell your kids what you did at your company. Tell them that you built these buildings over there. Tell them that you planted some flowers at that guy's property over there. Go tell your kids that you paved the roads. Go tell your kids you fixed the guy's toilet over there. Go, go tell your kids that you fixed the car because that's manly. Being an anti-natalist... Being child free, anti work, non conformist. That's feminine energy for the men that are watching this video. Life isn't going to give you anything because of that. Testosterone is down low, we need it higher. Need more kids. More kids, the testosterone will go up. I'll tell you some tips how to be positive when people say life doesn't know you anything. Work hard. That's number one. Number two. Build some muscle. Picking up pallets. Digging holes. At these jobs because we need more of these people working blue collar that's what I preach and then I tell people to wake up at 3 a.m. that makes you more productive that starts your day and go to bed at 1 a.m. because you don't need that much sleep I don't sleep that much I work more People that sleep too much are not doing it right. And then the next tip, stop complaining, start working. That's how I do it. Stay positive. Be optimistic about life.
This life's beautiful. Look out there. Whatever's on the news, ignore it, because that's fairy tales. That ain't reality. But I'll catch you guys next week. I'll give you some tips on how to get hired. Goodbye.